the outside, the Bolshoi theater looks as splendid and fresh as it did in the age of the czars. But inside, restoration work is still underway. Vera Babic is in charge of the restoration. It's her job to make sure everything sparkles and gleams once again. She and her team have been working for years on gilding the stucco and ornaments throughout the building. As a young girl, I dreamed of becoming a ballet dancer. That didn't happen. But restoring the Bolshoi, I feel I have reconnected with the art form. Babich is an expert in polymont gilding, a traditional technique that was little used during the Soviet era. Her father reintroduced it, and few people have mastered it. You have to do it all by hand. Gold leaf has to be rolled till it is very, very thin. It's a bit wrinkly, but that doesn't matter. When it's applied, it will be completely smooth. Then we polish it until it shines like a mirror. But first, an undercoat is applied between six and 12 layers of primer. Then they moisten the surface with vodka and apply the gold leaf. It takes lots of work and a delicate touch, but once it's completed, the ornaments should gleam for two or three centuries. We had to start while major building work was still underway, so we spent lots of time cleaning up and removing dust. We set up little tents to stabilize the temperature and protect the objects we were gilding. At times, there were more than a thousand restorers at work here. And even now, with just days until the Bolshoi Theater is set to reopen, work continues around the clock. The chandeliers also had to be restored. Experts worked on the huge one in the auditorium for two years. This chandelier dates from the 19th century, and it will hang here for a long, long time to come. It's a symbol of the Bolshoi Theater, like the chariot sculpture out front. Gilded moldings, ceiling paintings, hangings of silk and wool. During the Soviet era, a lot was neglected or even destroyed. Vera Babic adores her task of restoring the theater to its original beauty. You only get a job like this once in 30 or 40 years, basically once in a lifetime. That's why it's been so important for me to work on the Bolshoi Theater. Vera Babich may not have become a star on the stage of the Bolshoi, but she's become a star behind the scenes. And like any star, she'll be hoping the audience likes her work when the Bolshoi reopens in just a few days' time.